Thank you for taking my class at Dark Democracy. Uh, I filled in for another instructor and we went over scorpion kicks, a couple variations, and some combos. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that I'm left-handed, so if you are right-handed, mm -hmm. it should be pretty easy to mirror. Okay, so a scorpion kick, um, I like to do them in both wall plane and wheel plane, and this is what they look like. Wall plane, and then in wheel plane. Okay, so um, what you're going to want to do is, let's, if you have a downward swing towards your anchor side, uh, you're going to want to stop the, the momentum of the dart with your foot, your lead foot. You can do it with any foot, actually, but. Um, you stop it with your lead foot, you're going to want it to wrap around the ball top area of your foot and you're going to redirect the motion and basically just kind of push the dart head behind you. And you'll see that it wraps around your anchor leg. Um, the next variation we did was a dragon exit. Uh, so this one, it actually clears the body, you're not wrapping around your leg, um, and it comes out of um, like a regular dragon wrap. So that means it comes out on the anchor side shoulder, and it looks like this. So some troubleshooting tips for this one. The difference between those two, um, I would consider the one that wraps around the anchor leg as kind of more of a push than it is in terms of dart placement. The one that wraps around your anchor leg, it's actually on the inside of your leg. So when you redirect the momentum, it wraps around your anchor leg. Um, for the dragon exit one, we're going to want to try to keep the dart on the outside of our lead leg, so that way it clears your legs and just wraps around your body. <laughs> Some troubleshooting tips for the dragon exit, because I personally had a lot of trouble with it. Um, I, in the beginning especially, I'll kind of like flick in my knee to make sure that it doesn't get in the way um, of the dart. And also, it is also more of a kick than the version that wraps around your anchor leg is. So I'm actually kicking this one a lot more than in the other one. Next, we went over some combos. Um, I like to just start in a single, simple belt wrap. I'm gonna pass it one time under my anchor leg. If you know any leg weaves, uh, this is usually where I add it in for some flare. Leg weave, leg weave, leg weave, let it come out. Now you're in the same spot as you were in the begin before the leg weaves. And a scorpion kick into a non-salt overlord, anything you want. Um, another very another combo that we went over involves one of my favorite moves of all time, um, which is kind of this knee shot stall thing. I'm actually not really sure what to call it. So uh, for that move, you're going to pass the dart in your saddle side, and then you're going to come back on your holster side of your lead leg. And then as it stalls in the middle, knee shot out. Um, so you can do this with a scorpion kick that wraps around your anchor leg. So scorpion kick, and then you can go into dark dragon and then stall out. One more time from the back. Scorpion kick, dark dragon, stall. Uh, and then another combo that we went with, um, with assist from Chino. So this is another, um, this is going to be a scorpion and wheel plane and the one that wraps around your anchor leg. And when it comes out, you're going to want to catch it 
the dragon portion of it on your forearm. I'm going to kind of do like a non-stall. And then catch the duck from behind. And then you're going to stall and then do a new shot. Um, so from this side, the whole thing, scorpion. <coughs> a lot of fun. Um, and then for the scorpions, where it doesn't wrap around your anchor, um, honestly anything that you want to do coming into dragon works. Ah. Don't hit yourself in the back of the head, it probably will happen. Um, okay, so this one I like to go into cradle. So that one, we're going into scorpion that exits from the dragon side. So we're in our dragon wrap. Um, the forearm, anchor side forearm is catching the slack. Um, I'm actually going to let it pass under my anchor leg again. And as it's doing so, I'm going to pull through into a cradle. Kind of a quick move. So I'm going to try to show it up close. So under your anchor. So as it's going on your anchor, under your anchor, ideally you're not going to need your lead hand to guide it because you do need it free. You're going to reach through and grab the slack as it comes uh, under your anchor leg, drop it from your shoulder, and then you've got this little thing going on. And then you could just empty knee shot out. That's it. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.